Hey, actually, I forgot Keegan Dale's here today. Someone asked me not long ago, if I was going to my first welding job, what are three things that I've got to have? All right, so here we go. We're gonna count them down. This is just our opinion. I think the first thing you're gonna to have to have, you're gonna to have to have an ID. They gotta know who they're hiring. Sometimes it's the driver's license, but you might wanna make sure you got two forms of ID. Some people carry the driver's license and the social security card. Maybe you got a passport and a social security card. Maybe you've got another form of ID from your particular state. So the ID is definitely number one on that list. Keegan, what you got for us? And the second thing that you're gonna need for a job is a voided check, just so they can print that and put it on file. But also on that voided check, you're gonna need to have your routing number and your bank number. Okay. So they can send that, send those checks to your bank to get paid, you know, so. So you, not every company is gonna hand you a paper check in the mail, is that what you're telling me? No, no, it's some companies here and there will do that, but most of them is direct deposit, and that's okay. a lot easier, it just goes straight to your bank, you don't have to worry about nothing. Yeah, and if it goes straight to my bank, now I can use my debit card with my paycheck, I don't have to worry about writing checks, but it still has to tie to the checking account. Correct, correct. Okay, and I think that third thing, and a lot of people don't even think about it, but you're gonna have to have a clean urine sample or some way to prove that you're drug free. Some organizations want a, a toxicology card with your photo ID and negative drug test history, but guess what? It's the test you never have to study for. Most companies in, nowadays in the industry are gonna give you a mouth swab drug test or a urinalysis, and if, hey, if you're going into government work or nuke jobs, guess what? They're pulling hair. So those three things, a good ID, avoided check, and a clean drug record are going to get you on that first welding job. Gotcha. And if you're wanting to know how to get that first job and what you need and how we can help you, stay tuned, follow our YouTube, and check out our website for more information on how you can become a welder and start your career in welding.